First tonight, a high school student remains in the hospital after being shot multiple times yesterday. Now, police still have not identified a suspect in the case. Johnson City Police said the teenager was shot while sitting in a car in the 1100 block of Sunset Court yesterday, just before 7:30 a.m. The victim was taken to a hospital and is in stable condition as of the last report from police. Bianca Murray spoke with the victim's father today, who's making a plea for anyone with information to come forward. Yeah, the victim's father identified him as a 17-year-old Science Hill student. He says at this point he remains in stable condition, but there are just so many questions that remain surrounding this shooting. Police say the shooting victim was seated in a navy blue Honda Civic when he was shot multiple times. According to his father, the shooting victim is a 17-year-old Science Hill student who remains in stable condition in the hospital. The father said in a statement, quote, We are all very fortunate that he's alive as circumstances definitely could have been worse. We are grateful for the outreach and support from our friends, family and the community. The suspect in this shooting investigation has not been identified by police and remains on the run. Yesterday when I spoke with Johnson City Police Captain Kevin Peters, he said the shooting seems to be an isolated incident. We received a 911 call and uh, they advised that uh, one person had been struck by some bullets there at the scene. We do have somebody that uh, was armed uh, and they're still on the loose and we're just asking for the public's help in identifying that person or coming forward with any information. In a statement, the victim's father echoed that message saying, quote, We just ask that if anyone has any leads as to who or why, we ask they contact JCPD and local law enforcement for justice and keeping us all in a safe place to live. Johnson City Schools told us today that any time there is a traumatic situation in the community, they have counselors available to assist uh, students, parents, and the school community. Now, the school system's leaders said in a statement today, quote, given the event that took place yesterday, some of the, our teachers and administrators have gone to classrooms to remind students that if they need to speak with someone about the way they are feeling, those resources are available. Bianca Murray, thank you very much. Investigators are asking anyone with information about that shooting to come forward, as Bianca just mentioned. And those anonymous tips can be sent into the Crime Stoppers hotline. There's the phone number, and we have that phone number for you as well on WJHL.com.